If you see stray animals in your neighborhood, don't call the Hawaiian Humane Society. That's right. You're now being asked to call police. KITV Force Brenton Awa tells us why. The Hawaiian Humane Society handles 21,000 stray animals per year. That's 65 a day, but with rising operating costs, some services are being cut. It's kind of like going to the grocery store. It happens. You go to the store, you bring your things to the, to the counter, then you find you don't have enough money to cover those items you selected. So you have two choices. Hope somebody steps up to the plate and offers to cover your shortfall, or you have to put back some non-essential things. Those non-essential services are the pickup of stray animals, responding to calls for barking dogs and cat complaints to name a few. Anyone with those issues should now call police. Costs in every area are going up all over. Um, I mean, electricity, housing, staffing, uh, cleaning supplies, uh, animal care, uh, veterinary medicine, um, procedures, everything has gone up. The nonprofit was awarded the annual $2.3 million contract with the city, but still needed an extra $800,000 to fund all of its services. In the past, the Humane Society relied on charity, but that's no longer feasible, and the city just doesn't have the extra cash. It's not a reflection on the Humane Society, it's not a reflection on the services. We simply have to go back to what our basic core services we are required to provide. The Humane Society says it will still be open around the clock for animal admissions, still provide for adoptions, sterilizations, care services, and will enforce animal cruelty. It will also service animals that are in imminent danger and aggressive dog calls, but now only during daily business hours. The Hawaiian Humane Society isn't the only program feeling the effects of the city's $26 million budget shortfall. In the coming months, the city says it will outline cuts to just about every department to even out the budget. Guys, back to you.